If you're looking for any word that will deliver Africa from the present calamities that she's going through, please look nowhere else. And neither should you call for help from the Western world. The only remedy left is actually the one from we, the African people. Today, you are must welcome to the Cetra's Luck family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to say thank you to all that have been following us on our live stream section, our videos, liking, commenting, and sharing. Thank you, the stuff. And I remain Joker Tolu and Cetra. And I will always have with me my funny husband. Good day, everyone. This is Dustin, the most handsome, yeah, cable African. Just utterly pumping every single power husband. And as usual, I'm here with my sweet, latent pepperoni, sugarlicious, hot baby girl. Kidal, a town in northern Mali, which houses about 25,000 people, has been in the hands of separatists, otherwise known as jihadis or Islamists, for about seven years. And Mali has not been able to have any control whatsoever over this town. For about 10 years, France made the Malian government believe that there was no way they could capture Kidal back. And this made them to just leave Kidal under the ends of these jihadists. So some of these Tuareg rebels were actually those that were financed by France to outseat Gaddafi dead. And they still have some of those ammunitions that they are using to terrorize the people of Mali and some part of Niger. Some of the locals stated that the body language of France was that of the look away strategy in which they allowed the jihadists to take control of the town of Kidal and certain territories. And as such, they weren't preferring any lasting solution to regaining the town of Kidal. It was also suspected that France was also using these jihadists as a weapon of backup for themselves for those that will look away from their control uh, because they did this actually in Niger and Burkina Faso and now in Mali. Any of the African country that looked away or tried to ignore their interest in Africa, they are going to send this Islamic troop to them the next time and they are just going to be using them to regain back their control over them. And this was all they did for over 10 years in Mali. So. The Malian people were totally tired because the soldiers and the troops were just being killed day in, day out. They now had to organize a coup in 2020, which led to the civilian government being overthrown. And they also drove away the French forces there as well as the UN peacekeeping forces. So after this, they were now left with the operation that would kick out the jihadists, uh, which was just the remaining threat to them in Mali. And this they were able to achieve just some weeks ago with the help of Wagner Group, that's uh, the Russian mercenary that helped them. And they were able to regain back the town of Kidal just within two weeks or thereabouts. Actually, France has been opposing the fact that Wagner should not support uh, the Malian army because they know that they are going to get exposed for all that they've been doing against these people. And this is victory. And to celebrate this, the Mali's ruling military junta gave a 50% discount on all tickets for their football match. And people were just celebrating in their capital city, Bamako. Yes, and they were very, very happy. But right now, the standing question is, is this actually a turning point for Mali against insurgents? Yes, what do you feel? Are we just going to watch what will be unfolding in the coming days or what do you actually feel? Let's hear your view in the comment section. In my own opinion, I believe that this is one victory that has been postponed by invitation of Ola Puntua. <laughs> it is what actually happens when Africans decide to neglect the use of their words, of their potentials in safeguarding themselves, always looking for foreign powers, Mm, <laughs> to come and rescue them because what you have is a situation of Bila Balu. <laughs> but uh, it's not just Ola Balu. Uh, 
Bala Blue. It's actually the work of your clientele, you know. And uh, after this victory, now, this seeming, why I ask that question is that do we actually think that this has actually brought a lasting victory? Can we really say this has brought the expected Eduardo for uh, Mali as when we are considering a victory against insurgents? Or are we not just going to have in the coming days another group <clears throat> coming up by your clientele? No. Because they are always after, they don't like peace. Nigeria, oh, me, Nigeria, or oh, Africa, eh, Africa, they don't want us to sleep quietly, they don't want us to, they will just go after it and be done that. Oh. You, 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 you guys should stop blaming my clientele because my clientele they usually understand you guys very well because this peace is dependent on you if you want the peace in Mali to be continuous or you want it to be caught short. -ed. Yeah, because uh, normally the game plan of my, you know, my clientele, what they do is just a simple game of chess. They will introduce the trouble. Since they know that you will come to call them, to come and help you quench the trouble. In the process of trying to quench the trouble, they are making money, milking milk out of Africa. And at the end of the day, you are paying them for a job that... They are helping you to create the program. Ah, but I think the time of your milking milk or milking kekeke, it's over. Because ah, if not for what they were not able to achieve within 10 years, 7 to 10 years, ah, we saw Mali just decided that ah, let's partner with this other group. And now they were just able to achieve it within two weeks. And... Oh, Jewel Lady, your sister, France, what, what, what she France has been saying they can't Is overcome uh, France and UN a peacekeeping force. They've been there. Just, they, they've been Ramalori. Do you know Ramalori in Yoruba? They have just been doing them at par. Let's continue with this. Continue to enjoy them. Not knowing that these are actually the rebels that they forced, they formed themselves from Libya and they brought them there. They just want to make sure that they, they, they have total control of that country. People, they are not at peace and the children, they, they don't have any good means of livelihood. The adults don't have any uh, good means of what, what, what are you saying? See, one thing you guys do not understand is that France has been helping a lot of African countries so, so very much because the, when, uh, through the use of NATO, they equipped these militia people to oust uh, uh, Gaddafi from Libya. And, you know, by doing that, you are employing, you are creating economic empowerment for those rebels. Now, after the war in Libya, what do you expect them to do? With all the mercenaries, with all the guns, with all the bullets, they are not going to shoot themselves now. So they need to continue uh, 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 in, in what we call economic productivity. So they need to go to a new space, create more trouble. As they create more trouble, they can now have what additional source of income. So you don't have to blame France. France could have quenched this. In a few minutes, they, they know all the people to quench all this trouble. But most of the time, it's still the same you Africans that connives with them because some of you are making money from it also. And, and could that actually explain what is happening in my beloved country, which I might not like to say on here? Mm. In that case, <laughs> you I, like will, to say? I would like to consult <laughs> my doctor. Because I've been, <laughs> I've been told to speak in this in the afternoon. <laughs> Well, let me, let me quickly state this, that congratulations to you people of Mali and I hope that this uh, celebration lasts because you people need to work together, you need to come together, you need to love your country be, and, and be of the same mind. You now, I believe Mali should now be wiser that some of the gimmicks that my uh, uh, clientele uses, they, they look for how to divide you through the use of religion. If it doesn't work, they will bring economic sabotage. If it doesn't work, they will look for militia group. And let me tell you, please don't rejoice too much because if my if my clientele becomes angry with you guys, because I saw that uh, you guys, you were doing 50% on ticket for football to celebrate this victory. It's very annoying. You are, you are trying to humiliate us, France. You are trying to humiliate France that what we cannot achieve in 10 in several ten years, you guys achieve it in two weeks. You, you, that's not fair. And you know, there is this, there is this poknosa into Africa that is making France to be unhappy.
Yes, they are telling me, they are calling me that. Did they, did, did they see what, what, what Russia is trying to do to the people of Africa? They are, they, they are trying to meddle with our business. You people do not understand that this, this, this place that is called Africa, they cut it like cake. They can cut it. And miss themselves. Now, Russia is beginning to, to, to interfere. Why do you have to allow Wagner to come into Mali to just humiliate France? The people of France say, <laughs> the people of France say, please don't be annoyed. When, when at least we now know better that when we want you guys to come to stay for long years and not perform, we should invite you. <laughs> so when when we want um, when we want quick quick resolution of trouble, we should try some other people. Oh, uh, this is actually victory at last for. We the African people, because mm. victory in a place is victory everywhere. The the Olori <laughs> that are destroying the fabrics of Africa, making us to suffer in the midst of plenty. Hey, hey, Korea, that for me. Take that in dictionary. Hey, yeah. I take that in dictionary. I am praying for you. <laughs> that put Africa in the yes. quagmire of mess and the thing. Tala leba luma dafu yon lo son dinje o dafu yon o lo ugon di Check it. Check it. It will not. It will not. It will not be good for anybody that is praying a good prayer for you. <laughs> and that is it. A lot of love a shed. 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 Because, because we cannot but on. No, okay, life, oh, yes. life is all about no. lesson. Life is a lesson. And there is one. There is one. You already know. Africans now know that the trouble that is in Africa, the only solution to it is we, is we, we the Africans. Africans. That was what I said during yeah. our introduction. It's actually so. Don't look elsewhere. If you're looking elsewhere, man, Adam Smith said, "Man is selfish from the womb." Yes. So everyone, even I don't want to call maybe anything, anything, anything that anything. came, anyone that came to rescue Kinika Kinika, mm -hmm. please. Just permit me to speak my local dialect, that uh, because I'm not from a briefing. I'm from Yoruba land oh, yeah, in Yoruba. Nigeria. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Kimiko, Kimiko, anyone that does this, that does that, here helping, there helping. We still know that the only help that we can have that is long lasting, sure. that is sure, it's from we ourselves. Because man is selfish from the woman. Man will always seek that which benefits him, him or her most. Or so, she him. Uh -huh, or she him or him she. Mm -hmm. So, be so wise. So, when people are still helping you, make sure that you actually walk in your back. And what we're trying to say is, we're not praying for any bad thing, but what we're just saying is that we want peace and joy in Africa. And no peace, it's, it's high time we enjoyed peace for once. Yeah. There are lots of minerals here we are not seeing. Lots of minerals uh, like coal, uh, Fanta, Pepsi. Which one? Oh, <laughs> there are a lot of natural, natural mineral natural. resources, lots of nature's gifts here, but they are not allowing us to enjoy this. I'm not bad, yes, I'm not bad. What? I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Wow. Yes, very sure. Check the dictionary for that. I said, okay. we are going to start enjoying all that nature and God has given to us in Africa. Now, I want to believe that. So, so if you're happy for us, please say hi. Let's hear your view in the comment section below. And those that are praying that this victory doesn't last, it all let power. And those yeah. that are praying that this victory doesn't last, I also have prayer for you. On <laughs> Yang, he said. It's a prayer for you that you will love. You will love it. Let me pray here for that one again. All of you that are not happy with what is presently going on in Mali's uh, victory, eh? Look, 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 look. <laughs> so uh, you you can't be in a nation and part of the nations are under separatists. No, and you don't have peace. So nobody will be praying, but there are some people that profit from people's pain. Yes. They will be praying. So, so, so the other prayers that Mr. Centro has prayed for them. I'm so happy today because their yeah, eyes are light. I, 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 I love you people so come to pass. Somebody help me so to say amen. Amen. Jesus. I love you people so much. Yeah. If you do not love what is happening in uh, <laughs> Mali in terms of their, their freedom, freedom and regaining back their uh, lost uh, a town of Kidal. Kolu Kolu Tongbe Diela. Bongo Emi. Amen.
<laughs> so without being said, <laughs> just say thank okay, you. Okay, we want to say thank you so very much for joining us today. Yeah. Uh, we, if you know us, we are the Cetrus family and we uh, our caption is bringing joy or smiles from Africa. Yeah. Whatever news we have, we just come here and tell you in a funny way. Why? Because we know that your joy is your strength and your strength is your life. And that joy is so scarce in the world right now. Nobody can give you joy. It's all from within and from the Holy Spirit. So if you allow God and you don't allow the situations around you determine who you are, you're going to have that joy and it's from God. And in order to spread this joy more, uh, join us uh, on the 9th of uh, December as we go to feed about 1,000 people right here in the city of Lagos. <laughs> yes, yes. They, when you get to the airport, they, they call Lagos Lagos. Lagos. I was, I was Lagos. Lagos. I was and they are really salam. <laughs> so Lagos, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Central Foundation will be feeding about 1,000 plus or thereabouts uh, the less privileged. They are, due to all these things that are happening yes, and no. there is severe hunger in the land. In the land. Yeah. Due to the uh, challenges being caused by Mr. Central's clientele right here in Africa, everywhere you go, there's severe hunger. It's even hard before people can have one square meal a day. And the hunger we are talking about, we are not even talking of people that are not working. <laughs> people that are even working are going through hunger. Yeah. The salary they are getting cannot sustain them because the price of foods has skyrocketed said like two times two times three the inflation rate here is bad so we intend to support uh, yes. people that are going through such challenges so we just yes. we're just trying to feed about True. one thousand persons one thousand plus persons mm -hmm. yeah. through our foundation the Cetrus foundation so some good persons on this platform are started with the contribution so we'll be displaying the the numbers in which you can help with. So a dollar can help feed the person yeah. with the meal. Big thank you to all those that have been helping us in our uh, Christmas chicken project, helping our neglected but diligent African youth right there. Want to say God bless you real good. So please, you can just use a dollar to help feed someone right here in Africa. So you can see the account information you can use if you want to send directly, or you can use a GoFundMe or PayPal link that will be displayed on the screen. So we love you. Make sure you keep your joy and you try to help the next person to you because that person might actually be the one to save your life in the coming days. So we remain the Cetras. Until we come your way next time, make sure you keep your joy. And don't forget about the joy therapy. If you're married, grab your wife from, you know where to grab her. Grab her so much that the equilibrium point will be coming on a way And if you, in, if you are there and you are not married, look for the next transformer. <laughs> so with that being said, see you in the next video.